We are in a transit van. It's the 350 HD uh, build out that I've been working on for about a year now. Bought it in Colorado and drove it here. Um, and yeah, I've just been obsessed with minimalism. I really think that it just makes sense from like a psychological standpoint. If you have fewer things, you can be more focused with your life. I bought the biggest van because I wanted to make the, I wanted to make a van for full-time living. I didn't want something that felt like you were camping. So I really wanted to get um, as much of that home feel. Um, so the kitchen itself has a massive sink, tons of countertop space um, with a, a maple countertop. Um, and, you know, I like to cook. So I really wanted something that is, I mean, this is bigger than a lot of people's actual kitchen. Um, so I really put a lot of thought and effort into just making it functional for someone who actually really wants to cook. So I've got a refrigerator, I've got running water, I've got heated water, massive sink, it's a propane stove, three burner, you know, you could throw a chicken in this easily. Um, so yeah, I mean, I didn't want to be working on like a little butane, you know, camper backpacking stove. Um, so I found this one that's specifically made for RVs, so it's, you know, the rattle of the road won't affect it. Um, and then I mounted a propane tank underneath uh, the van. Um, so yeah, you're cooking with gas. So this is a queen size bed. Uh, they call it a queen short, so it's the width of a queen. I think it's six inches shorter than your standard length of queen. Um, and the... I spent a lot of time in my tiny house. I really wanted to add a, a bathtub. Like I, I like to soak. I, I do the Epsom salt things. Like if I work out and I just got sore bones, I love to go and soak in a tub. So I was really trying to fit a tub into a van, and I, I really knew it could be done. And um, then I just kind of realized, and I came up with this design that. You know, I didn't also want to, a lot of people put a shower in like an enclosure wall, you know, and they'll literally just build three walls up against the driver's seat. And I really wanted to maintain this open, you know, perspective where you can see out all the windows all the time. So basically I figured out how to hide the bathtub and the shower underneath the bed and kind of make it a dual purpose, um, you know, design. It's my second, uh, yeah, tiny house. The first one was built on a trailer. So it was a towable trailer. It's 26 feet long, eight and a half feet wide, 13 and a half feet tall, shed roof design. Um, and I designed and built it myself. Um, and I lived in it for a little over two years um, and loved it. Just really been compelled by minimalism and just simplistic living. So you can, and minimalism, a lot of people say is just less. And I would say it's just the right amount of stuff. It's focus. It's not just less for the sake of less.